Hey everyone, this is Shepard from TeamworkCast.com, bringing you yet one other Monster Hunter Tri Ultimate demo demonstration. This time with the dual swords against the Legambi. This is another little challenge that Noxella came up with. It was something he was able to achieve with the dual swords as well. He wanted to see if I would be able to take out the Legambi in under a specific amount of time. So, let's see if I can do it. We've got a pretty specific strategy for this. Again, this isn't anything that you would necessarily be capable of doing in the main game, or would want to do in the main game, because it's not like, you know, your normal quests are set up like arena quests. But, for what we have, it actually works out fairly well. Again, we're just dropping our bombs straight away. We're going to get a little stun off on him, and then we're going to start building up our demon gauge. Now, I actually prefer to start with just a normal combo. Uh, start off with a couple X's and then follow it off with a couple A's, which are the circle slashes. Reason being is that builds up your demon gauge a lot faster. Being in arch demon mode, which is what happens when you're in full demon gauge, uh, actually ends up giving you a couple different boosts. Uh, supposedly, it gives you a small damage boost. Uh, also, supposedly, it gives you a slight either, I don't know if it's a movement speed or attack speed buff. I haven't ever really done enough research on it to find out. I suppose once the Brady game guides comes out, it would say it explicitly what it does. Otherwise, this is a very mobile weapon with the ability to stun on the Legambi. It makes it really effective on him. As you saw, what I was able to do early, I almost got three full demon dances off on his head. It's not a required target with the blades. Supposedly his butt and his head are almost as equally weak. Head does take, of course, a little bit extra damage. But if you got to hit one or the other, it's really not a big deal. No reason to reposition yourself if you're already at his butt. <laughs> I think one of the biggest functions of being able to get a faster time on this guy is just like, what is he doing? Is he sliding around a lot? Is he doing easy attacks to evade and then punish him? If he slides around, it's just going to take a while no matter what you do. You see I'm just going to continue attacking behind him. No real reason to switch. And even if you don't have demonize mode on and you can still do plenty of damage anyways. Don't feel like you're you're pretty much limited to being in full demonize mode all the time. Of course it gives a bit of an attack buff. About 15%. Not necessary though. I see he's already weak and running away. Unless I had the foresight to be able to drop a shock trap, there would be no way to prevent him from running. Something that would require just an enormous amount of luck would be a one zone clear with the dual swords. Luck or preparation. You'll see there those little dodges that you get once you actually have your Archdemon mode up. Ended up being really helpful. They come out incredibly quick. They have a very short delay, so it's probably about half the delay of what you actually get from your normal, normal evasion rolls. Which is really perfect for what we, you want to do with the dual swords. You don't ever want to be outside of attack range for all that long, or recover for all that long. So clearly, not really long enough to be a uh, exhaustive dual swords tutorial. Uh, Certainly a decent demonstration, though. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned. I'll be having more of these for the rest of this week.